Howdy folks, it's Tom from the Gaming Channel, and welcome to Assassin's Creed Syndicate. That's right folks, it's October, and if you're as big an AC fan as I am, that means Christmas has come early. And from what I've read, heard, and seen of this one so far, it's wrapped up nice and shiny with a pretty red bow. I cannot wait to get tucked into this one with you guys right alongside me, but before we do that, I just want to have a quick chat with you guys. As you can tell by looking at the channel, we're still in the very early stages of getting off the ground. We have just half a dozen videos up at the moment, and every little bit of feedback I can get from you guys helps me out immensely. Please like and comment on this video. Tell me what's good or bad about it. We have a Facebook page and Twitter account. Likes and tweets are also a great form of feedback for us. If you do like this video and want to see more like it, smack that like button and subscribe so you can see future videos. But at the moment, comments and your feedback are going to be the real driving force behind the channel. I'm completely new to uploading on YouTube, and I'm still learning the ropes of video and audio editing, and I'm sure that shows in the videos. With your help and feedback, I'm sure we can make this the best channel it can be. If you do want to get in touch with us via Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, Google+, or Instagram, you'll find all of the links to, for those in the description below. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Now, for those of you I haven't bored to sleep, let's tuck into some Assassin's Creed Syndicate. is your playground, Abstergo. Hello, Initiate. Recently, Abstergo Historical Research began several new projects in London. We both know that when Abstergo makes big moves, the Templars are up to something. We think they're hot on the trail of a new piece of Eden. I've got people in London looking for it. Hey, Bishop! Jacob and Evie Fry are twins. How awesome is that? Speak of the devil. Fire up your cameras, Bex. I've got a picture. ETA on the payload? Sending it now. A lot to sift through. I'm gonna get the initiates on it ASAP. You look weird with a weapon. Let's plant a little bug and see what we can see. Got something. Isabel Ardant has a meeting here in a few hours. Uh, doesn't say with who. Doesn't say with whom, Rebecca. But I suppose it's down to Muggins here to find out. Hold on. The mission was to find data to locate a piece of Eden in London. We did. And now, I am eager to try this new kit. I don't like it when those two go off book like this. <sighs> well, all we can do is take a deep breath and move forward. You'll be searching for the piece of Eden through the lives of Jacob and Evie Fry, twin assassins who operated in Victorian London. Your first set of genetic memories are downloaded. Good luck. Brother George, it is as I feared. London has fallen. Thrice I have written to you, begging your aid. Thrice you've responded with silence. And yet I write again. So desperate my need, so few my options. I need you. London needs you. You would say it is too great of a task, or that it is not yet time to strike. Patience, you would counsel. But whilst you wait, the Templars consolidate their power. They have chosen a Grand Master so ruthless, so thorough, one might think Reginald Birch himself had returned. His name is Crawford Starrick, and he intends to rule the world. There is no aspect of society he does not control, no industry that escapes his grim touch. By day, it is corrupt merchants and venal politicians who hold court. Come night, 
a vicious street gang known as the Blighters strikes terror in the hearts of all. There is no business untainted by his poison, no person unexploited, be it by duplicity or force. Our enemy has designs on the highest office of them all. And so, as you look inward, and dare I say it, afraid, Gorford Starrick's ambition is fixed on the beyond, to kingdoms and continents as yet unconquered, though not for long, for he knows. As I have warned you, time and time again, whosoever controls London, controls the world. The iron ships from here. The Templar running things is Rupert Ferris and our target one. Target two is Sir David Brewster, who's got his hands on a bauble that could ruin us in this wretched war. Think you both can handle it? What a question. All oh, right. My mistake. Ladies and gentlemen, the unstoppable Fry twins. See them nightly at Covent Garden. George, honestly, I've studied the plans of the laboratory and have every route covered. And I've got all I need right here. I'll extend your regards to Ferris. Chat later, George. We have a train to catch. Jacob! Evie! May the green guide you, you vagrants! Poor man. More afraid than ever. Years have not been kind. Evie Fry, where do you get it from? The same place as you, Jacob. Send me some laudanum for my head. Coming right up. And here we are, folks, in Victorian London as the assassin Jacob Fry. We've spotted our assassination target and we are going to move to take him out. Pretty standard assassin technique there taking out a target <laughs> so fluid movement very easy to get around what do you think you're doing Stop for this trouble. no one goes in or out unless there's a problem i hold the machines that door opens and i have my route to ferris and of course it's a a stunning looking game, which is to be expected from a major title and a major series. Um, I don't want to comment that on every new game that comes out, but very, um, very, very incredible visuals. Controls much better than the uh, previous title that we will go ahead and not mention that everyone is unhappy with. Um. Okay, and we've got one more sabotage to do here, it looks like. Which one of you is responsible? 
And here we are going to go ahead and do our assassination of our first red shirt. Just very... This man is dead. <laughs> oh, and into combat. Pretty straightforward. Tap X to attack. Jeez. Counter with B. Assume they're waiting for me to do it. Oh, okay, so one of our turns yellow counter. Okay, there we go. And then just oh ah. Oh. Okay. Very vicious attacks, very ooh. Okay. And then just straightforward attacking. Oof. Brutal combat. Jacob is a beast. Oof. Through these guys. Oh, man. Oh. I just went into stealth by accident. <laughs> that was completely unintentional. I'm coming. Time to head for higher ground. <sighs> Large crowds. Very cool to see that many people rendered at a time. No loss of frame rates whatsoever. Again, just a really, really stunning looking whoop game. And there's my first really screwed up move. Sure, it will not be the last, but multiple routes to where we're going here. Here to have a look around. Use our eagle vision. Spot some of the bad guys here. And then over there. So we're gonna free run down to here. We're actually gonna climb. Go this route, I think. There we go. Uh, we had actually a really good distance on Eagle Vision. Um, spotted that guy quite a ways off in the back there. Um, and of course, uh, and it's nice to be able to mark these guys, know where they all are. So. Keep making our way to our target back in the back there. Yep, already done Eagle Vision a couple of times. Mark a few more guys. Mark that guy. Is there anybody else? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go into stealth mode here. I love that he takes the cap off and pulls the hood up. Um, Take this guy out. And just walk along. Move this direction. Guys in the crowd. Two guys there. Ooh. Break line of sight and keep moving. Da, 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 da. I really like the feel of the environment. Um, got a lot of broken bricks and debris. It looks very, very just run down in certain places, but also very ornate. The ironwork is really, really ornate, and just the, the glass ceilings really cool time period to be climbing around and snooping and dropping off ledges. I'll head back up there. Always easier to go up top. Oop! There we go. Um, you may notice that I am zipping through this pretty fast. Um, that is because, unfortunately, 
due to a, a software error I've already played and attempted to record this area. So I'm gonna zip through this pretty quickly and uh, just kind of get us through to uh, some new content in the next video here. Just wanted to get started, get in, show you guys what we're li- ooh, 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 ooh. Oh no. <laughs> that I did not intend. There we go. Um, but yeah, uh, definitely want to get the video up and uh, get this uh, underway. Definitely wanted to bring this one to you because I've been looking forward to this one for quite some time. And uh, I know a lot of other people have been as well since uh, images were leaked uh, several months ago. So definitely, definitely going to enjoy playing this one. Um, loving the idea of being able to switch between the two characters and each one having their own kind of specialty. Um, you know, obviously, Jacob is going to be the more combat-oriented, muscled, um, just, as you guys saw in the combat tutorial earlier, just really destroying guys when it comes to hand-to-hand -hand combat. Um, Evie seems like she's going to be much more stealth-based. Um, sneaking, I think, is going to be a lot of fun with her. Um, and both uh, have their own skills and upgrades and things, so having uh, one geared towards stealth and one geared toward uh, straight combat, I think, is going to be really interesting. And switching between the two um, when you need them. Uh, I just think that's going to be a really fun system to play with. Oh, scared the kids. Nope, maybe not. Just dead body, no big deal. Okay. Through here. And over. In. Over. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Alright, still in stealth here. Put up, hat off. Ready to go. Round. Take it over take a moment to look around, show you guys kind of the visuals we're looking at here. Um, just the crowd of the kids and everything is really cool. Um, not that, you know, having the kids working is really cool, but the visual representation of them is really cool. No, I'm not going to hurt you, don't worry. You're good. In through here to the furnace room, and the furnace room is pretty cool. Mr. Ferris, sir, the, uh, the lad in the factory should be taken to be bandaged by the apothecary. Fine, but dock his wages. Yes, sir. Shall we arrive at a final price, Mr. Ferris? What a D-bag this Ferris guy is, jeez. I think Jacob is going to take a great deal of pleasure in eliminating him. Um, although, Jacob seems to be the type that would kind of take pleasure in eliminating any Templar. But uh, this guy in particular seems like he kind of deserves it. So, I'm going to hop up here real quick just to kind of show you guys the, the Molten Lava effect. Our molten metal, sorry, effect is really cool. And the furnace. And it gives a really nice ambient glow that's very realistic. And just, again, I'm going on about the visuals, but they really are just more than you would, more than I expect from uh, most games. Especially a game that's being released yearly. You would expect the quality to kind of go down a little bit, but uh, this one is supposed to be kind of uh, making up for what happened with Unity last year. Um, Unity definitely one of the the weaker, if not the weakest, titles in the series so far. Um, but this one, and down, yeah. Um, 
this one so far definitely seems to be taking it up a notch. So. And again, the molten metal lighting effect is really cool. Um, just, oh man, there's a lot of guys in this room. Three there, one there, one over there. And I know for a fact there's a guy walking, two guys there. So, yeah, I don't want to fight all of these guys. <laughs> so I am definitely going to stick to the high ground here. Skip. Skip. In um, the, <laughs> the video that you guys didn't get to see, um, I did unfortunately make a misstep, hit the ground, and wind up having to fight most of these guys. <laughs> um, it's not a fun experience, so I'm going to try to avoid that this time around. Um... It's cool that they're showing um, entry points, which are just different ways to enter an area to eliminate your target. Um, we have a, a doorway down there that I could enter through. We have a doorway there that I could enter th through, but my preferred entry point is gonna be the ceiling. Again, kind of preferring to stick to the high ground here to avoid uh, having to fight all these guys at once. And over. And there is our target Ferris beneath us, and we are going to take him out. It is done. Oh? What did you accomplish, boy? A bolt loosened in Starrick's machine. A large bolt. But not enough. Your Grandmaster will fall. You assassins can circle London to your heart's content. The mechanism we have built has been going strong for a hundred years, and will run a thousand more. It is the very city itself. We will take London from your hands. From Croydon? You lurk in the shadows like a coward. I doubt it. Sorry, lady. Didn't mean to terrify the hell out of you, but... Get through the checkpoints here. Up we go. And out through here. Oh! And away we go! Up here. We're gonna be dealing with these guys. No point in hiding at this point. They know that I'm here. Whoa. And off the train you go. I love fighting on a train for that sole purpose of being able to kick them off. Oh, you're not dead yet. Bye! Whoa. That's not fair. You shouldn't be able to swipe at me and block at the same time. That's not cool. Hi. <laughs> Fighting on a train. Who doesn't want to fight on a train? Come on. It is so much fun. Or at least the concept of it is so much fun. I have no idea how fun it would be in practice, but... Is there anybody else? Okay.
We seem to have made an unscheduled stop. Oh, it did not look like he was running fast enough. Uh, but we're gonna climb down this completely track. Oh, oh, quick way down. Down, down, down. And down. And okay. Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to, I guess, make a running jump at this one. Oh, there we go. What a mess we have made. It looks like this was maybe a half-constructed bridge that uh, <laughs> may take a bit longer to finish now that they gotta clean up the wreck, put out the fire, and rebuild the bridge. Um, Jacob definitely seems to be the type to cause a lot of damage. So, not completely unexpected. Maybe next time I'll walk. Okay, so I just have to say I like Jacob as a character. <laughs> um, he's just, I find him really funny and entertaining. Um, so yeah, uh, we're going to go ahead and end the video here. Um, our next playthrough will be as the stealthy EV Fry. Um, and I just want to, you know, say sorry, guys, that uh, A, this is taking so long to get up, and B, if it's a little um, uninspired, a little, you know, mechanical. Uh, as I said, I unfortunately, due to my... Recording software, this is the second time I'm running through this particular part of the game, so uh, just want to get that out there and let you guys know. But anyway, um, if you guys like this video, definitely smack that like button for us. Um, likes, comments, shares, um, all of that will uh, determine if we uh, continue putting this up on the channel. I'm definitely going to continue to play it because I am a huge AC fan and I'm, I'm going to play the game one way or the other. Um, so may, I might as well record it and put it up for you guys too. But um, definitely, uh, you know, like I said, comment, like, let us know what you think. And we will see all of you guys in our next episode. See ya.